Hello, it's Brian Begley from the NCloud9 YouTube channel. We have a new video today. It's a follow-up to our last video on 10 ways that you can use Dataverse search to make finding information in CRM much easier. From that video, there were a number of items that we talked about might need a little bit of customization. Or So today we're going to talk about how to customize Dataverse search so that your users can get the most out of Dataverse search. And so to do everything that we're talking about today, you do need to be a system administrator. So if you're not a system administrator, and if you want any of these changes to happen in your environment, feel free to share this video with your system administrators. Of course, if you learned something from what you're seeing today, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the NCloud9 channel so you'll get all sorts of great information. All right, so we're going to talk about a few changes that you can make to Dataverse Search to make it more useful for your end users. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to add new columns into the Dataverse search capability. All of what we're doing is very simple and can be done within the make.powerapps.com customizer for your Power Apps. So we're gonna start with updating some columns that are in the account table. So we're in the account table. To make changes to our search in Dataverse, we wanna to go to the views table and when we go to our list of views we're going to scroll down till we find a view called quick find active accounts now if you're looking at another table such as contacts or opportunities it's always going to be called the quick find view so whichever quick find view you have in whichever table you're looking for let's open that up and we're going to see a few things in here where we're allowed to make changes to the data found in a quick find table so when we open up the account table we can do a few things right off the bat to make our dataverse search easier so for example if you look at this search results here the account number is a field that NCloud9 never uses on our account records. So right now, when we search on an account record in Dataverse Search, the account number is gonna show up. So let's just go ahead and remove this column. Same thing with the email. It's never a column that we use. So let's remove that column. We're left with three fields left in our view, account name, primary contact, and main phone. Now let's say I wanna change the view that I see, so I add the address one city, so I'm gonna type in city and I'm going to grab address one city and we're going to drop it in there and then we're going to drop in another field that I always love to put in which is relationship type I'm going to put that in there to move co primary contact so it's just like editing any dataverse table or view or form it's all simple and straightforward however the view editor for the quick view form has one little change that's different from any other view which is over here on the bottom right corner we have our find by field and so what this governs is the fields that are searched in Dataverse table when we are searching. So right now, it shows we're searching five columns. Account name, account number, main phone, the status, and the status reason. So let's do this. I want to get rid of account number because I'll never search by that. I probably really wouldn't search by active or inactive. So we're going to get rid of status and status reason. But I want to add in a few more fields. So we're going to add in the city that this this organization is located at. So we're going to type in city, address one city, and we can also add in address two city. Now we don't need to add these fields to our view. We have added address one city, but I don't need to add in address two city. And we can also add in a lookup field. So I'm going to add in primary contact. Contact into there. And now these are the fields that the Dataverse will search from when you are searching on any records that exist in the account record. And the changes we've made up here will be what is displayed in the Dataverse results screen when we're looking at accounts. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click Save and Publish. Now one caveat here is if we make changes to the Find columns, those take about 30 to 60 minutes to update in Dataverse. So you won't start seeing results immediately. Dataverse has to go in and re-index its search index. So you won't be seeing those for about, like I said, up to 30 to 60 minutes. So we're 
we're back in our CRM environment. We've published the changes. We've done a hard refresh in our environment. And now we're going to test out the changes we just made. I'm going to go up into my Dataverse search box. And I am going to first search for a company. And we're going to just use Fabricam. And when I search on Fabricam, you'll see that the changes we made to the columns have been published out. We have account name, primary contact, relationship type, the city, and the main phone fields. Now let's test the second change we made, which was to search on the city field. So I'm going to type in Dallas here. Let's see what happens. When we click on Dallas, it does show us that we have one account in Dallas. So we've been able to successfully update Dynamics 365 to change the layout of the view to meet our needs while also changing the columns that are being searched in QuickView. Now, another thing we demoed in our previous video for users about Dataverse Search is the ability to update Dataverse Search to search notes and also search attachments within notes and within emails. So let's show how we add those into our Dataverse search in the sales hub. So we're going to, before we go there, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to tell if a table is showing up in this hub. So if, when I'm looking at my results here, it says accounts and it says showing one results for the word Dallas from 19 tables in the sales hub. So when I click on this, it shows me the 19 tables, account, email, goal, invoices. What you'll notice is not here is notes, nor do we see attachments. Attachments are the table where we store the document attachments in emails or in notes. So if you want to add those in so that those search results will show up in your Dataverse search, we just need to add these to the sales hub. What that means is the notes table, the attachment table aren't directly added to the sales hub. So let's go forward and we'll show you how to do that. It's real easy. I'm gonna go back to our development environment in make.powerapps. I'm gonna to go to open up my app. We got an app here. I'm gonna find the sales hub and we are going to look in the sales hub. And I'm gonna search for the table called notes, N-O-T-E-S. It says no match found. So what does that mean? We need to add it to this hub in order for search results to show up. So let's do that real fast, pretty straightforward. Click on the plus new button under pages, add the Dataverse table, and we're going to search for notes. Chart starts finding it for us immediately. So we click notes. We don't want this to show in our sales hub navigation. So we just click on don't show in navigation, and then we click add. In the same way, I want to now add attachments into Dataverse search search in the sales hub. So once again, I'll click the add page. I'm going to search on the term attachment. There's several fields or several tables called attachments. We're just going to go with the one that's called attachment. And we do want to remove show and navigation. We're going to click add and now we're going to save our changes and publish them out. So we just finished publishing and we are opening up the sales hub. Of course, we're going to do a hard refresh with the control F5. And now we'll see what happens when we search on records that might be in a note or an attachment. So I, I know that I have a note that's called Fabricam in it. So I'm going to click on the words Fabricam in my search. We're going to click there, show more results for Fabricam. And there it is, notes one. And I look here, title is, this is a note. And it found the terms Fabricam in the description or the main body of the note. From here, I could just open up the note, brings it up in this you know, strange form here. It doesn't look like the notes you would normally see when you're opening up a note in an account or a contact. But from here, you can read the entire content and you can look at other information about. Now, another thing that we added was the attachments into the Dataverse search for the sales. Up. So let's search under a term that I know is in this attachment right here. So we're just going to leave the note record and we're going to go search on the term guide. It shows up that note somewhere in that note is the term guide. And it turns out that that is in the attachment. So if we open up the note that's attached to this record and we open up the attachment, we'll see it's one of our new guides that NCloud9 is putting out. And it's the essential guide for CRM automation tools for Dynamics 365 sales. Now, we have just published this guide, so feel free to look at the link in the description to this email. It'll take you to a link where you could download this guide yourself so you could review what we've talked about, about all the ways you can automate your Dynamics 365. It gives you some great ideas on how to make CRM work better for your users. So 
back to the sales hub. Now we've shown you how to add notes and attachments. So for our last update to Dynamics 365 or Power Apps to allow you to extend your user's experience with Dataverse Search, we're gonna show you how to add a new custom table that you've created to make sure the results are visible in Dataverse Search. So we're gonna look, I created a custom table in my sales hub called client resources and we have some results here so we have one called coffee machine we're gonna search for coffee machine when we do search for that we're not seeing our custom table in the results up here so I want to go ahead and do what it takes to add this table into the search results the way we do that is we go into our sales hub and we go find our table here. So I'm gonna to go to my table. I'm gonna to go to custom tables. I'm gonna open up client resources. And first thing I need to do is open up the properties on the table. We wanna to go to advanced options, scroll a little further down here, and we want to be able to set up this checkbox, appear in search results. When we do that, we're gonna click save. And now client resources will be added to the Dataverse search results. Now, as a result of that change we can go down now back to our table called quick find active client resources and we want to make sure that the tables that we are searching we're going to open up the quick find view for this custom table and we're going to make sure that the results we are expecting to see are added here just like we did on the account table so we don't have very many fields in this table but i want to add account into the view and we also want to add a filter so we want to click on the filter and we're going to say set the filter and we're going to say add row and we want to add the filter where account contains data okay and then we want to go down here and add the find fields so right now the only find field is the name let's add in the account that we are assigning or linking this client resource to once we make Make all these changes we're going to save and publish our table and when this is all published we're going to go into our app and we're going to do some searches now once again remember it might take up to 30 to 60 minutes for these table columns to be indexed by dataverse search so we waited about 30 minutes for our dataverse updates to process and now we're going to do that same search we just did for coffee machines in our dataverse search bar go type coffee and hit enter we're going to look at our results and there it is client resources so there's that coffee machine that we previously added to the results here so we hope you learned something today from this video about improving the dataverse search experience for your end users please feel free to add any questions or comments below once again if you like this video please like it and subscribe to our channel and we'll talk to you real soon bye bye